four yards rushing. Derrick Henry went off. Lamar Jackson didn't even have to pass the ball. 12 completions, he had 182 yards, but Lamar Jackson went off. The Cowboys have now allowed over 450 rushing yards and seven touchdowns on, in two Come on, games. Man. Come on, they now. Hall of hey, Famers what are we doing? Everybody at the running back what position. What are we doing? Shady McCoy, glad you're here. Chase oh, Daniel, glad you're here. Oh, you want me to suit up? Glad you're here. You need it, dog. Hey, 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 listen, the way they got something. Come on, man. Look, the way the, the way cat was playing defense. Listen, man, how's the hammy, though? Is it good? <laughs> it's good Can enough. You do it? It's good enough. Hey. Look, the facility was created for a show like today. So glad you're here. You could be watching any show. Good you're brother. hanging out with us. Up, my brother? It's about to be fun. Uh, Shady, I got to start with you, big dog. I got to start with you. I got to start with you. I got to start with you. The <laughs> most important question is this one Is the Cowboy season over? <laughs> <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not over. Even though it's looking bad, it's looking bad, real, bad. real bad, it's not bad, over bad. yet. They're one and two, right? They're one and two, and they haven't gotten to divisional games yet. So I'm going to say no. Um, you know, it's still early in the season, right? I like to always grade by um, every four games. NFL, we always do that every four games. Quarters. You know, every quarter we kind of check what the team looks like, what they're good at, what they're bad at. And it's obvious. It's obvious. They're bad at stopping the run. That's what they're bad at. Mm -hmm. So I think they'll... We'll see more of, you know, maybe sign some bigger D tackles, right? Maybe some more blitzes. You'll see different packages stacking the box. Whatever it takes to stop this run. And then on offense, I need to see more. You got a $60 million quarterback, right? I don't want to see garbage minutes where you're getting blown out and the defense is playing super conservative and falling back, keep everything in front of them, and you're throwing the ball around. I don't want to see that. I want to see a competitive game with the Cowboys. Y'all told me they were so good. Y'all told me they had a, told me a franchise too. quarterback. James Jones was bragging. And begging for years to pay Dak Prescott. Well, they did. They did. Well, they did. As and we've seen the same results. So it's not over yet, but they got to change some things super fast. Mm. To yeah. me, I, I got to go out and say that the Cowboys season is over. Oh. But their season is over as Cowboys fans. Their season is over as Cowboys fans predicted their season to go. The reason is it's not even hyperbolic. The Cowboys have several fundamental flaws that I do not believe can be fixed. Number one, they can't stop the run. Number two, they can't run the ball. Number three, and this might be the most mm. important one, their offense is not prolific enough to take a lead, thus they can't get the opposing offense away from running the ball. So if you can't stop the run, and your offense can't take a lead, thus you can't stop the opponent from the desire to run the ball, you got a problem. <laughs> and that's really the dilemma with why the Cowboys season is over. There aren't enough free agents that you can sign right now to play defensive tackle to stop the gaps that your defensive tackles are allowing. There aren't enough explosive running backs that you can acquire right now to have an explosive running game. I put it very simply. The Cowboys are like the model without makeup. They cannot cover up their blemishes. Mm. Their offense is not good enough to cover up the defensive <laughs> blemishes, and their offense is not good enough to get the opponent away from running the ball, and their blemish is at the interior defensive line and at the linebacker position. They're the model without makeup, Chase Daniel. They can't hey, cover I've up I've never the heard that one before. Yeah, I, especially when it comes to football. Right. I just want a model that's with makeup outside, but inside, no makeup. I feel it, too, five. But they outside get ready all like that. <laughs> so, look, uh, I don't think the Cowboys season is over, but the Ravens broke their soul. Oh, the Ravens broke their soul. Like you talk about pass or rush defense, rush offense. They didn't do anything rushing the ball. They put all the pressure on Dak Prescott. Yeah. Dak Prescott came through at the end too little, too late, for my opinion. Yep. Okay. Of course. The Ravens ran the ball 45 times for 274 yards. Lamar had more carries than completions. Jeez. Lamar had 14 carries. He completed 12 passes. They threw the ball four times in the second half. They didn't need Lamar to be Lamar, to beat the Dallas Cowboys. This yeah. is back-to-back -back weeks that the Cowboys are getting embarrassed at home. And I say they're not, the season's not over, because I was a part of the 2015 Kansas City Chiefs with Alex Smith. We started 1-5. Mm -hmm. We won our next 10. We finished 11-5. and five. At some point, you got to end up trusting the coach. That's what <laughs> we did with Andy Reid. We, 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 we went to Andy Reid and said, hey, you lead us out of this, because at some point, we don't know what we're doing. We're 1-5. and five. We don't know what's happening. The Cowboys got to trust Mike McCarthy, but I don't think Mike McCarthy can lead them out of this. Mm -hmm. That's the issue with this. They, they got to get something going. They used to be all world beaters at home. They lost their last three games at home, and not just lost, they've got embarrassed at home yeah. their last three. Here's the thing, though, James, Chase, Shady, the reason I'm so discouraged isn't for hyperbolic sake. It's not overreaction. Monday, James, I believe the Cowboys lack the personnel to do what mm. they want to do. You play wide receiver. You know better than anybody. The Cowboys do not have the explosiveness yeah. at wide receiver from top to bottom to do what they want to do on a consistent basis. Do you think the season's over? Yeah, um, my answer was no. Uh, that, was. that was my answer. My answer was no um, in the, in the uh, pregame meeting and all that. My answer was no. Uh -oh. 
But then I was sitting up here as all you guys were talking, you know, updating my information. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the goal for the Dallas Cowboys? Because they've been to the playoffs the Super last Bowl. three years. Well, no, no, no. no. The goal Bowl. is win multiple playoff games, yeah. right? Okay. That, that, that's, the, that's the goal, right? Because Dak Prescott has won a playoff yeah. game. The goal is to win multiple playoff games. They 12 wins, 12 wins, 12 wins in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. This team does not have the roster to win multiple playoff games. Back-to-back mm. -back games, defensively, they have given up over 432 yards of total offense. They did that ah. one time all year Ooh. last year. Oh. This is back-to-back -back weeks at the crib. You don't have a number two wide receiver. You don't have a running back. You have one wide receiver on, on, on the offense in CeeDee Lamb, and you have a quarterback. Not enough weapons to compete with anybody. The Niners lost three All-Pros on offense, and they still got better playmakers than you on the offensive side of the ball. They do not have the roster to compete. Then you go to the defensive side of the ball, right? You lose Stephon Gilmore. You cannot stop the run. They are getting the ball ran down their throat. And Shady, to be honest with you, like Joy Joy used to say, no pause, man. Because they were getting the ball run down their throat, man, for real. They cannot stop the run. They cannot get explosive plays on the offensive side of the ball. They don't have the roster to compete. You can't go get nobody. Unless you're going out there to trade for Devontae Adams or somebody like that to get another big-time playmaker. And there is ain't no running backs out there to trade for. I don't know what you can do on the defense side of the ball. You're not winning multiple playoff games with this roster. You're not. I just, <laughs> this is a good Monday, but Eagles won. I can't do no wrong. But I, as I listen to you guys talk, I'm just curious because, like, last year, like, well, offensively, well, what was the difference? Explosiveness at offense. They, they well, explosive play. Okay, but, yeah. <clears throat> like, personnel-wise, right? Who do they have over there? I think Tony Pollard, who wasn't Tony great, Pollard. was he wasn't still great, greater than but he's Dallas. better than okay. All right. Zeke. Oh, cool. All right, Tony Pollard, right? Yeah. Uh, we loved him the year before that. This year, they didn't, they didn't love as much. Better offensive okay. line. Okay. Uh, all right, offensive line, give you that. But then the wide receivers, let's go back to the wide receivers. Yeah, we keep talking yeah. about the wide receivers every time we talk. Mm -hmm. What about the wide receivers last year? What's the difference from this year to last year? It's the same. No, they. No. What's the difference? What's the difference? Uh, well, to me, it's, it's team ball. And you know this better than anybody sitting up here at the disc. It's team ball. Remember last year, came out the gate versus the Giants. 40 skunk. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know how bad the Cowboys' run defense was. Jets beat the brakes off them. But you said this, and you and I both noticed it. What happened when the Cowboys played the Cardinals? And they couldn't take the lead. Right. Remember that they last lost. year? They lost. Cardinals they lost. just ran and, ran, ran, and oh, ran, and oh, ran, right. and ran. Josh but Josh. last year, as a team, as a collective, Shady, the Cowboys could mask their rushing defense deficiency because they were able to take leads. That's where 2-5, well, well, I don't think they can. Okay, well, where this route was going, right? This is what I'm trying Talk to get to. Talk to me, 2-5. Talk to me. Y'all give me what I wanted, but I, I just give it to y'all. <laughs> My thing is. It's just the Dallas Cowboys. This is who they are, right? Because let's just think about who they are for all, overall. So, now this year they're struggling against the run, right? Yeah. And they're not putting up as many um, numbers offensively that we would yeah. like. But when you have nine All-Pros, mm -hmm. what do you do? You go to playoffs and you lose. Mm -hmm. You take the All-Pros away. What do you do now? You're still losing. So, my thing is, I, I feel like in the playoffs, we've seen the Cowboys who they really are. The only difference is now is that they're getting exposed where they are in the regular season, which we haven't seen that. Yeah. Normally, they do 12 wins, 12 wins, 12 wins, get the playoffs and always lose. So all I'm saying is, it ain't really about the, the stopping the run. It ain't really about the wide receivers. This is who the Cowboys are. The only difference is, is that it's, it's no secret now of uh, being in the playoffs. We see who the Dallas Cowboys are in the regular season. I'm trying to tell y'all yeah, boys. That's not who the Dallas that's how, That's who they are, James. I think the issue to me is, yeah. like, you have some things that are really broken. Yeah. On that team. Yeah. The run game, it's non-existent. For Dak, it, the pressure it puts on a quarterback. I thought actually Dak, I don't think I don't think the Cowboys have a Dak problem. Like I think the Cowboys and Dak, I think Dak's playing really well, to be honest with you. Really the last season plus three games, he's been playing well. And you have a defense that we were up here, and I, I was the first person to say it. I was like, Mike Zimmer, let's go. But yeah. then I was like, Deshaun Watson and the Browns, and you see how they've done. Not great. So that, that's what the issue is. That's what they're sitting in a team meeting today saying, the issue is we're broken on a lot of issues on our team. How do you fix it? I don't have the answer so for that. Here's, here's why, and again, I've given you my take verbally. I want to show you now, because more than just other shows who might tell you, I want to also, Colvin, uh, show the audience mm -hmm. the real issue at home. The Cowboys have a personnel problem. I'm going to highlight a player for you all, a defensive tackle, <laughs> number 93, Linville Joseph. Now, Linville, as you watch the play unfold, watch what occurs with him. A defensive lineman cannot get displaced this aggressively. You cannot, Linville Joseph, get displaced this aggressively because what's coming right behind Linville 
Principal Joseph, is Derrick Henry running the ball? Okay, Acho, now you have a tenacity problem. But the bigger issue for me is you have an alignment, assignment, and an execution issue. I'm going to pause it right here because I need y'all to watch this person, Donovan Wilson. He's a safety in the box. Watch what is glaring right now, Shady McCoy. What gap is that? As I see it, that's not the A gap. That's the B, B gap. gap. You got this gap is taken, this gap is taken, this gap is taken, this gap is taken, this gap is taken. Parsons has that gap, this gap is taken. So what's the one gap that's vacant? The freaking B gap, and who should occupy that B gap? Appreciate Number you. six, Donovan Wilson. Right. Watch the play occur, family. Where are you going? Gap yeah, awareness. Where? Because Shady, Derrick Henry, any legitimate running back is going to see Donovan Wilson vacate that gap, and that is a 20 Nine yard. Oh, sit down. Get out, man. boy. Sit down. Yep. A 29 yard run. Not only do the Cowboys have a tenacity problem, they have an alignment, assignment, and execution.